Hello everybody, Big Planes here with a look at my all custom LEGO Emirates A380. This entirely custom build covers a wingspan of over 7 feet and uses an estimated 40,000 LEGO bricks. The Airbus A380 is the largest passenger airplane in the world and is famous for its spacious cabin and in-flight amenities. I've depicted this Airbus in the classic Emirates airline livery. From the outside, you can see both the upper and lower levels of the A380, along with the 16 functioning doors. The real star of the show is the massive vertical stabilizer that measures almost 3 feet in vertical height. Towards the front of the model, you can see a functioning cargo door along with a full cargo hold. All four of the massive Trent 900 engines are powered by LEGO Power Functions motors. Both the flaps and spoilers can be extended and retracted with the press of a button using LEGO's new powered up system. The control surfaces on this model are powered by a single XL motor at the base of each wing which in turn drives linear actuators that power the flaps. Towards the back of the Emirates A380, the elevators can also be positioned for added display value. The main landing gear can be retracted by hand and neatly stowed away into the belly of the model. Designing a landing gear system that could both support the immense weight of the A380 along with properly functioning as it's intended to was one of the most challenging parts of building the A380. The nose gear on this model can also be retracted. First and business class passengers board through the port side entrance on the upper deck. In order for minifigures to gain access, all of the doors on this model can be opened. For us big figs, the roof can be removed in modular sections to allow us to see the inside. The roof segments also play a key role in holding together the structure of the A380. Once all of the roof segments are removed, you can now see the full upper deck. Once we're inside, we'll meet an eager flight attendant that will escort us to our first class seat. We take a left turn and head towards the first class luxury suites. Each suite has a mini bar along with an in-flight entertainment screen mounted on the forward wall. In addition, each first class suite has a working lamp that provides light for the passengers to see. Each first class suite has simulated sliding doors to provide our minifigures with some well needed privacy. This passenger right here is enjoying some pre-departure quiet time to a glass of champagne. Further down the aisle, a flight attendant is serving some pre-departure drinks and passing out hot towels to the first class passengers. 
At the front of the first class cabin is the grand staircase that leads to the lower deck. The mezzanine is decorated with an ornate waterfall along with some potted plants off to the sides. At the top of the stairs, a first time flyer is having a casual conversation with another passenger who appears to have time traveled from the Victorian era. To the left and right of this staircase, we can see the first class accommodations. Each lavatory has a toilet, sink, mirror, and of course, an in-flight shower. In one of the restrooms, an older woman is refreshing herself in the mirror before the long flight ahead. These restrooms have heated floors so passengers can enjoy taking showers at 30,000 feet. We can now start making our way aft to where we first boarded. A flight attendant is busy making sure that all food carts are properly stowed and locked before the flight. For this flight, the airline decided to switch their catering sources, which may explain the massively oversized turkey. For our business class passengers, we make a right turn and pass through the privacy partition. Most of the upper deck of the A380 is dedicated to business class passengers. Of course, boarding is still in progress, so many of the seats are unoccupied, but today is expected to be a full flight, so that was likely to change. Each business class seat has a lie flat chair along with a small mini bar and in-flight entertainment screen. The business class seats are arranged in a four abreast configuration, so nobody on this plane has to have a middle seat. On this flight, we have a wide variety of passengers. This couple here is settling in for the long flight ahead, while this woman appears to be lost and can't find her seat. Business class is a great option for many who can't afford to pay in the five digits for first class tickets. As we move down the aisle, we enter into the smaller business class cabin for those passengers who want a little bit more privacy. This man here looks like he's taking a casual vacation, whereas the next row back, it looks like this might be a grandmother traveling to visit her family. Once we reach the very back of the upper deck, we find ourselves in the onboard lounge. This lounge is exclusively for first and business class passengers. The Emirates A380 is famous for its in-flight minibar. The bar serves non-alcoholic beverages, of course, for passengers looking for a refreshing way to pass the time. Directly across from the bar is a large in-flight entertainment screen, along with some plant decorations. Behind the curtains are three more lavatories, along with the business class galley, where most of the meals are prepared for business class passengers. At the very back of the cabin is a spiral staircase that leads to the lower deck. Economy class passengers board through the two forwardmost doors on the port side. The entire upper deck can be removed to provide us big figs with access to the interior. To the right, there are a couple more lavatories, and on the left are a couple of jump seats for the flight attendants. Once we take a left and proceed up these stairs, there are crew rest areas along with more lavatories. The flight deck can hold four pilots and of course has the infamous Airbus side stick. The A380 utilizes a glass cockpit, so much of the flying is actually done by computers. Once we exit the flight deck, we can see the main staircase leading to the upper deck. This Emirates A380 has recently been outfitted with premium economy seats. Passengers have responded well to the change, with the premium economy cabin being full on almost every flight. 
As we make our way down the aisle, we can see passengers beginning to fill in the empty seats. This man right here isn't too happy since his work only paid for premium economy seats rather than the business class seats he was hoping. On the other hand, this couple is thrilled that they were just upgraded from regular economy to premium economy. Once we move past the privacy partitions, we can see the forward galley where a flight attendant is making sure that everything is ready for departure. The primary economy cabin on the Emirates A380 has a nice relaxing Middle Eastern desert vibe with orange and light purple seats. The A380 cabin is spacious compared to other aircraft types, which makes it a favorite amongst travelers even in coach. Since this is a long overnight flight, the window and aisle seats are going fast. The overall mood in the cabin is joyful since this flight has not experienced any delays yet and the crew is keen on keeping that the case. Towards the back of the first economy cabin are the primary economy lavatories. It appears that the grandmother from business class has somehow ended up waiting for a toilet in the economy section. Maybe she's lost, or maybe she's trying to stretch her legs before the long flight. As we continue moving back down the aisle, we can see a man with slick back hair and sunglasses on. We better keep an eye on him in case he asks for any parachutes. As we move further back, we can see the primary galley for economy class. The giant food makes yet another appearance and the flight attendants are busy loading on pre-cooked food for the flight. Once we move past the galley, the passengers start getting a little bit seedier. This one guy was asked to move to the back of the plane because he keeps saying that he's the real Elvis. I'm not sure what this guy's deal is, but he appears to be happy, which is all that matters. Between the two outer rows of seats is the primary crew rest area. Inside the crew rest area are a couple of lockers as well as six bunks for the flight crew to catch up on some rest. This is where the flight crew can come to get some well needed rest on overnight flights. Once we reach the very back of the plane, there are two more lavatories as well as the spiral staircase that leads to the upper deck. And that's everything on the inside. You've now seen both the first and the upper deck of the A380. This has been a very involved project that's taken me over 10 months to build from start to finish. With a wingspan of over 7 feet and a length of over 6 feet, the A380 is by far the largest model I've ever created, even dwarfing the 747. I've recorded the progress of this build both on my YouTube channel as well as on my Flickr page. If you want to see more pictures of this beast, be sure to head over to my YouTube channel or to my Flickr page. I'm going to leave you with extra pictures and videos that I took of the A380 for this video. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and bye for now.